white balance is way off. Okay folks, just a quick heads up. I know most of my vlogs are about home brewing or the brewery, but we're taking the channel into a different direction now and I'm gonna bring you along on something that's purely technical. So if this is not your bag, that's fine. You're gonna to wanna to tune out of this video. I completely understand. But today we're gonna to be doing some work on the car, which might not sound absolutely amazing to all of you, but I like engineering and fixing things, and that's the direction I wanna to move towards uh, in the up and coming movies. So check this video out. <laughs> We bought this car in August 2011 and on the MOT there was an advisory for rear brake pads. So today we're going to change them. notice at this time I don't have any axle stands so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the wheel that I've removed underneath the car to prop it up. A couple of spanners, undoing the bolt at the back of the brake caliper. There's a bolt at the top and the bottom, both of those need removing. Just like that. It's coming. Here we are. And then you can see the actual uh, automatic handbrake, which you get on a 3008 is on. So I'm disengaging it now by starting the engine, and you can see, I'll show you again, you can see the actual brake release uh, when we deactivate it uh, from the dashboard. This is where you have to really make sure your front and back wheels are chogged. I don't have axle stands, that's why I put that wheel underneath the car just in case it rocked back or forth and dropped off of the uh, dropped off of the jack, you know? It land on, on the wheel. Just popping off the old brake pads and you can really see the difference between one side and the other, you know. Uneven wear there on the pads. But one of them's down to the metal man. Now this is uh, a winding tool that you need to use to wind back the pistons on your brake calipers. You're talking 24 quid on eBay for something like this, dirt cheap. Once you've got it, you've got it for life. I'm telling you, you're going to save money if you can do your own brake pads, particularly on garage bills. Not that I'm knocking mechanics, you know, I know quite a few of them and they do a good job, but if you can do it yourself, why not? So you can see the caliper, the piston in the caliper being pushed back as it rotates slowly. And once that's seated all the way to the base, then you're ready to continue with the replacement of the brake pads and you can get the caliper back on. What you don't want to do is engage the handbrake or take the key out of the ignition if you've got an automatic handbrake as you do on the Peugeot 3008. If you do, then that piston's going to pop out. So you have to make sure everything stays as it is while you go through this process. You should really use a wire brush for this, I didn't have one and I'm just changing the seats for the brake pads here. They came in the package, didn't cost me anything extra, 
at a push you can use the old seats, it's not a problem. But if you've got some new, why not use the new? I don't want to put the new in. These are the new pads, they can be a little bit tricky to get into place. In fact I cut out most of the faffing around. But you just want to make sure that they can move freely within their seats as you can see there and make sure those are two springs pointing out the back don't poke through the back of the caliper there's a hole in the back of the caliper where you can inspect the wear on your brake pads you do not want those springs to be poking through there so I just put the caliper back on making sure not to catch the gasket on the piston and then I put the top bolt in keeping it in place and then we can just go ahead and uh, the reverse of the disassembly, put her back together. I and mean, once you got to this stage, it's pretty much plain sailing. Nuts and bolts back in. Tighten them up nice and tight. Don't strip them though. Make sure that your brake disc can rotate. Slam the wheel back on. Tighten up the wheel nuts. Don't forget to make sure they're torqued correctly. I know how tight these wanted to be. And also, once you've driven around the block a few times, tweak them again. Make sure they are tight after you've been down the road. The last thing you want is to be overtaken by your own wheel. Whip the jack out. This is really when you tighten the wheel nuts when it's on the deck. You don't want to be doing it. When it's in the air, there you go. There you can see. Put some pressure on them bad boys. Ooh. Tighten them up proper. Hub cap back on or wheel trim, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, use the side of your hand, not your knuckles, it hurts. Son of a bitch. Get that on. Foot on the brake. Engage the handbrake. Does everything work? Friggin' right, it does, boys. Let's take her for a spin. There you go, that's it. Rear brake pad change on a 3008. Hit that little link that I'm just driving past now and you can subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.